Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Today we are going on a point of view drive with the facelifted Citroen C3. So this is the 2021 model here, a facelift. And as you can see, we have some changes to the front. First one being the new grill, some more chrome. You have this chevrons integrated into this grill that goes all the way up to the headlamps and we do have the LED technology now in the main unit as well as on the date I'm running LEDs. You will also notice uh, these elements here which are in this case in white but you can configure the color of them and also of the element on the air bump so many colors are available and personalization is really on point with this car let me show you the side profile so three meters 99 is the length we have a new design of the air bump on the facelifted version you see it here it's got the three elements now instead of uh, i believe six on the predecessor and uh, also i find these wheels rather nice these are the 16 inch wheels and uh, yeah they do look good uh, you can also get the 17 inch but i think this is a good compromise and let me show you the rear of the car new led lights with a nice 3d signature uh, you can turn on the lights by just pressing this on the key but uh, of course um, now it's daylight so i don't know how much can you see but yeah at the back not much has changed and now without further ado let's take this thing for a spin you will also notice that we have the sticker it's a factory sticker you can also choose uh, so the dual tone but also some additional stickers on the roof but yeah let's go on a ride i do need to unlock it and yeah this is the interior and let's see this from driver's perspective so let's go first of all inside i want to show you this very cool door handle and this is in white in order to uh, spot the elements that you put inside the key is the classic one and i do need to put it here something that i haven't done in quite a long time now uh, but yeah this is it and we are now ready to go the handbrake is a classic one and we are ready so the model in our video has got a 1.2 liter pure tech petrol engine a three cylinder engine with turbo and this one's got the 110 horsepower which is more than enough for a car like this so below 10 seconds to reach 100 and the top speed is 198 kilometers per hour so i think uh, you know most of the buyers will be satisfied with this one uh, if you don't need that power you can also go for the uh, version with 83 horsepower that one is naturally aspirated and there's also a hundred horsepower diesel as an option so tell me in your comments what would be your choice this one's got the six speed manual which is very useful so the 83 horsepower version has got the five speed manual and you will see now we are going on a highway and you will notice that you do need a sixth gear if you're gonna spend a lot of time on a highway but then again if you're buying this car just for the city drive i think the base one could also be you know pretty good and the layout is actually very similar to the predecessor uh, so in front of us there is a analog cluster and not much has changed here we have this steering wheel that's also well known and in the middle you have a 7 inch screen and I actually love the sound so you have the classic sound of a 3 cylinder engine but it sounds even sporty I would say uh, on higher reps so that can be a plus for some buyers especially maybe younger buyers I do love the clicking sound of the indicator but what I don't like is the fact that you change the AC controls on this so let me adjust the air blower you do it like this you need to press this and then you go into the menu for the AC
and now you will see how the car performs on the highway see the sound and just like that we are on 130 kilometers per hour example if I went to fifth gear 130 would be around 3100 or 200 rpms so definitely sixth gear is useful here this car also has up to 11 driver assist systems on this model in our video we have the lane departure warning system start stop parking sensors and uh, yeah stuff like that this is the seven inch screen and i do love it it's nicely incorporated into this system but i would love to see the classic switches for the ac what you have are the classic switches for the lock hazard lights and the maximum blow as well as the volume knob and the cruise control is actually on the special lever that you don't see right now but for example we have the 100 kilometers per hour limit right now and let me actually turn on the cruise control 200 kilometers that's it and as you can see at 100 kilometers very quiet for a small car and 2000 rpms Back 230 kilometers per hour limit so I will adjust the cruise control 230 car will accelerate to the desired speed city it is starting to rain which is a common thing these days I believe in all of Europe but anyway stay tuned for the night point of view drive around town where of course most of the buyers will use this car and it's definitely a car that is easy to maneuver and that will go around the city without problems so stay tuned for that there you will also see how this ambient looks uh, during the night when with the lights on tell me in your comments what are your thoughts on this car and how do you like the design of course not much has changed compared to the predecessor but there are some changes uh, that I showed you from outside and of course in terms of the technology so that's it, thank you very much for watching, do subscribe to the channel in order to see more car reviews and see you on the next video, bye bye.